from ancestral ruminants. The earliest deer had evolved by the Oligocene, and deer diversified into numerous species as they spread throughout the world. A number evolved large body sizes, including extinct fossil species such as the heaviest species, the broad-fronted moose, and a large species which had the greatest antler span, the Irish elk. The moose is the largest and heaviest deer alive today, although there is a bit of trouble in the naming given that there are a variety of subspecies, and the North American subspecies, which are called moose, belong to the same species as the Eurasian as subspecies, which are called elk. In North America, the term elk is used for a different deer, the wapiti, which is not in the same species. Modern moose can stand 7 feet tall at the shoulder and weigh 1,500 pounds. As is typical of deer, moose grow antlers, which have a base of bone which is attached to the skull and at first it is covered by living skin, also known as velvet, which is later shed. This is different from horns, which have a base of bone, uh, but and then a covering of keratin. Moose begin to grow their antlers in spring, and it, uh, the antlers take three to five months to reach full size. The size and shape of the antlers uh, can vary with age, nutrition, and then also the subspecies of uh, moose. Uh, moose in North America uh, grow larger uh, antlers than uh, that found in Eurasia. The largest spread of moose antlers was almost seven feet, and six and a half uh, feet can commonly uh, be uh, reached. After mating season is over, moose drop their antlers uh, as a way of conserving uh, energy. In addition to allowing males to spar during mating season, uh, the shape of the mo uh, moose antlers also aids in the collection of sound and aids hearing.